My belief philosophically is that you can't actually teach conducting, you can only learn conducting. So a great deal of the structure of the course is providing opportunities for the conductors to get up on the podium. Every concert, every rehearsal is irreproducible. So I think all of these things led me to become interested in conducting. To conduct an orchestra every week is unique. We learn around 40 pieces in less than three months. There's a lot of practical experience that comes from this program where you not only get to work with the orchestras in the school and then the visiting conductors, but also then, you know, that added component of being able to see what it's like with a real major professional orchestra. So the Lab Orchestra is a group that meets every Friday for two and a half hours. And they are all student musicians, but they are paid. We can study scores by ourselves, of course, and we have to, but the only way to get better at conducting is to conduct. And so to conduct a group like this every week has just made all the difference in the world. These are usually very experienced players in the Juilliard area, which means that Lab Orchestra quite often plays at the level of a professional chamber orchestra. This means that the conductors can figure out instantaneously if what they are doing is helping or getting in the way. It's a chance for us to take risks, experiment with things, and for all of us to say, okay, this worked, this didn't work, and then the students can also provide feedback to us. It's really a chance for all of us to understand how to make the relationship between conductor and orchestra the most seamless uh, it can be. One of the cool aspects of this program is that uh, we are very closely involved with the Juilliard orchestra cycles and the musicians in general. So in addition to having lab orchestra, one of us uh, is assigned to multiple concert cycles uh, as cover conductors and assistant conductors. So when the guest artists and the guest conductors come, we get to lead uh, multiple preparatory rehearsals with the orchestra. We get a rehearsal all to ourselves to take the orchestra through the piece and sort of address the, the largest ensemble issues. And then these world-class conductors come in and we get to watch them work and see their approach to fixing and elevating the orchestra. We get to know so many wonderful personalities like Barbara Hennigan, John Williams, um, Gustavo Dudamel, um, Manfred Honig, um, Antonio Papano. You just can't stop watching and observing. As conductors, we're about preparation. We essentially energize the silence and then ask people to play. The thing which I find marvelously fascinating about conducting is that in a sense, the technical, here is what you do aspects can be taught to someone in five minutes. But the difference when you're a conductor is that when you stand up, you are entirely transparent. You are communicating all the time, whether you are aware of it or not. Something that I really respect and love about David's conducting teaching philosophy is that he is not trying to make little carbon copies of himself. He wants actually the exact opposite of that. David Robertson is probably one of the most thoughtful people in the world. <laughs> He's always just been a fountain of knowledge and mentorship. He's always digging deeper for something that is truly authentic to the person that's on the podium and how they understand the music that they're they're conducting. It was never about imitation, it was always about discovery. He tries to help us identify when strong musical ideas and choices are coming through to the orchestra and when, they're, when we're blocked and when they're not. That has been my favorite part of working with him over the past two years, is he's really good at either addressing things head on when necessary, but also sort of running the slow game with you where you don't even quite realize what he's doing until one day you wake up and realize your conducting is much better. We all come from different corners of the world. We have different learning methods and that's the beauty. We just share and see how does the other one approach a certain problem? How can we help each other? The whole thrust of the program is that when you've left, 
you really have all of the tools to do anything you want, to be involved with conducting in any way that your heart desires. My best tip is make the most out of it because this kind of amazing thing happens rarely. I mean, those two years, they go by so quick, but all those experiences stay with you your whole life. They will yeah, strengthen you in moments of doubt. For how different we all are uh, and how different all of our backgrounds are, it's a, a great reminder of how music is so much bigger than all of us that it brings all these kinds of different people together. Mm -hmm.